<laughs> oh, well, here's Hulk Hogan. He says, now, brother, <laughs> check out that hot ex-WF CEO and Don and Marie. Don Marie. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Hogan in Hulkamania bandana, ex-WF shirt and glasses says that. And then he pantomimes Sable's figure, which looks like he pantomimed it in a way that made her look like she had a gigantic head. <laughs> itsy, bitsy, teeny, weeny, yellow polka dot bikini, brother. All well, the spring break someone. nurses are here, dude. Some of my friends are on this show, James. Don't you worry about that, dude. I have a very specific friend on this show. Oh, <laughs> uh, we have some good friends on this show. This will be fun. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, so next up, we got the Rena Town Hall. Yes, CEO Rena is here. She comes out with security. This is Sable. Yes, this is Sable. Sorry. Uh, I just want to make sure for anyone that maybe didn't watch the first episode, Rena is Sable. She is here because she left and sued the WWE. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Why is she not Rena Miro? They're still together, I'm pretty sure, right? They call her why Miro. is she not Sable? They call her Miro, don't they? Oh, do they? Yeah, Rena Miro. I thought yeah, why? Uh, does WWF own Sable? Rena Sable. Yeah, WWF probably owns Sable. Yeah, I'm sure. They should have spelled it like Mabel. But Sable. Whoa. Yeah, just change the letters <laughs> around. <laughs> that would have been, <laughs> been crazy. S-A-B-E-L. Yeah, E-L. Yeah, it's Sable. Sable. <laughs> Sable? It's not Sable, brother. Don't say that anymore, dude. <laughs> you can't say that, dude. <laughs> Shivani says she got muscle with her this week, King. Uh, King says, you got those muscles? And Shivani says, I meant behind her. I get it because it fucking tanning. Oh, okay, you know? sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and her, her pyro goes off, and they make sure to show the only camera that won't show the pyro. Yes, yeah, it's the worst camera shot of all that's time. That's why it's taped. It is taped. Yeah, that's crazy. You think maybe it was fucked up? Yeah, maybe. She doesn't do anything to, like, cue the pyro either. She's just walking, and the pyro's going off behind her. Yeah, they, maybe they didn't show because they killed three security guys in the process. <laughs> <laughs> they blew them up, MacGruber style. <laughs> Matt Gluber? No Mac, way. Matt Gruber. I'm going to blow you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing a bomb in the arena. They did that to R Truth on Raw. I'm going to blow the arena. <laughs> Sorry, R Truth. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Uh, mean Gene says, What is the meaning of all this? This security. Uh, Rena says, yes, it is my security. First <laughs> that, of all, I want to thank the worst. He goes, is this your security? Yes, this is my security. <laughs> yeah, is this your... No, who the fuck are these guys? Get these no. guys away from me. Thank you. Is this security? Yes. Okay, can we... <laughs> all right, cut. What are we doing like a wrestling... Pro- we doing a wrestling promo here? What are we doing here? Rena does a lot of crazy big words here for stupid wrestling fans. I couldn't handle them. Um, she says, you want to thank everyone for their efforts for making the X- XWF's first show an incredible occasion. And if we all continue to work together, we can take the XWF and wrestling to that next level. Take it to that next level. Hell yeah. And she th- she said, I didn't think everything would click so place and, and to place so well, Gene. What do you think? And Gene says, ah, I think the new commissioner overstepped his power. And Gene said, what the fuck did you say, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy, dude. The way that Mean Gene says this is nuts. She man. checked him big time. Yeah. Ah, uh, that new commissioner overstepped his power. And Gene says, no. She says, are you questioning my decision? <laughs> are you threatening me? Are you questioning my decision, Gene? <laughs> and Gene says, no, wait a minute. I'm not. And then before he can even fucking explain himself, Roddy Piper's music is already hit, and he's halfway down the ramp to kill Mean Gene Okerlund. <laughs> Piper gets in the ring. He starts cutting a promo into a mic that didn't sound like it was on. I'm not sure what the was music happening was there. Just piped crazy, man. Okay, that was that it was. Yeah, music was piped okay. crazy. I bet they had it on the same track. They weren't even thinking. Yeah, you're right. Well, it said it sounded like Piper that told Mean Gene that he was the type of fella that cost a man his wife and his family. I was like, what are you talking about? What are you saying? What does yeah, that mean? Piper's a face here, man. He is a face. He said, <laughs> why are you questioning this lovely lady at all? Let lady it on. Gene says, I'm not questioning you because it appeared to me you took matters into your own hands. And Roddy says, I've taken many things into my own hands, which gets a big fucking pop. I didn't know what he was. Was he talking about it, like his cog? What was he talking about? <sighs> That's a good question. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> You know, I think they were just popping because he's Roddy Piper. He should start going Piper, off okay. about Russo killing somebody or something. Remember oh, that? my God. Well, <laughs> that's coming up. In, like, that uh, like, that does happen months. soon. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah, that does happen wow, soon. Wow, yeah. TNA says, let me get that. Let me get him. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, Rena says, now, Commissioner Roddy, uh, you said you'll be impartial and consistent. Dude, and it was Owen Hart. You. He said you're yes, going to kill Owen was. Hart. Yes, wow, yes. that's what it was. I was, like, putting the pieces together in my head. Like, who did he say he was going to kill? No, I was just putting it together in my head. It was fucking Owen Hart. He was blaming Russo for it. What an insane fucking angle that was. Supposedly and it wasn't because like, he left. It wasn't an angle because, yeah, he, he, he just left. Did that. He said, you killed yeah. Owen Hart and then left. We definitely got to either do an SGH on that episode or a pod on it because, yeah, like, that's, that's crazy. Insane. Yeah. 
Uh, Rena says, you're, you said your wrestling days were behind you. Is there still a fire for action burning under that kilt? And Roddy Piper starts going fucking crazy. He starts running around in a circle. He's a fire. There's a constant twitch. There's a forest burning under here, baby. I love you and I'd do anything for you. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> He's got a burning fire under there, James. He's got big yeah, pubes. Got a STD lot of pubes under, under there. there. So <laughs> he grabs, like... Tony. Grabs. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Vampiro shows up. That's not what I call him, nah, though. I call him no Vampiro. Way, bro. I know we don't call him that. <laughs> we absolutely don't call He's him that. He's my here. painted brother, brother. Vampiro. <laughs> or, as I would call him, Vampiro. Well, Vampiro shows up in Seinfeld puffy shirt. <laughs> the future he does of the with his big right ass here. pants. The future of the business. He is. <laughs> Vampiro's like 30 something. The future's here. Vampiro. Maybe that's what you call him, brother. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I don't call him that. I don't call him that, dude. <laughs> there ain't no way none of us call him that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be talking about us, dude, because we don't call him that. Yeah, we don't here. call him that. I know you two brothers call him vampires. <laughs> <laughs> this is him in the booking meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Vampiro up. I don't know who that is, brother. Maybe you call him that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. You better not call him that around me, though, dude. Uh, Vampiro starts to talk, and Roddy, before he even says anything, her eyes are up there. He's not looking at her titties, but Roddy Piper is looking at her titties the whole promo. Dude, Fucking Vampiro, crazy. which is what I call him. He's super, I would call super him that nice guy the whole way through. He says, hey... Uh, you know, thank you. We really appreciate that. And he's like, stop looking at our titties, dude. Maybe was like, thank you, man. We're, you know, like we don't get a lot of our, all our titties. And, uh, you know, we're really hoping that we can uh, do something really well here. <laughs> Winga Boink is here, Vampiro. That's what I call you. I'm not your friend, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm not your friend, dude. Yeah. Vampiro says, thank you to Sable for giving all the boys a chance. Uh, we'll give you 100%. A thousand percent. <laughs> he does say that. <laughs> and BG says, I like those percentages. <laughs> uh, Sable then says she remembers that Vampiro must not be good friends with him. Vampiro not used to all. stand outside the LA sports arena. She used to look at him like he was a bum. <laughs> and uh, as she would walk in for WWE. <laughs> <laughs> you were 15 years old and I spit on you when I walked by you because you were a bitch. <laughs> But things have changed now. Don't I'm looking at, at somebody moves. else like that now. <laughs> <laughs> I spit on you and you were looking at my titties the whole time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen another young man that I was looking at my boobs that I spit on. His name is Josh. <laughs> Is the he... young man's name is Josh. Yeah. It's Josh. Yeah. <laughs> young man's name is Josh. <laughs> Do you have a spot on the roster for Josh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Sable says she remembers the vampires and stands on it like twins. Boobies. Stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy Piper's motorboating here in the middle of Vampiro showing his appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> he tells security guard, hey, somebody go get Vampiro. Hey, the security guard's like, oh, yeah, we'll get Vampiro. Because I can tell they don't know him like that. <laughs> of course not. Uh, yeah. yeah, the young man's name is Josh from MTV's Tough Enough. And Rena asks Piper, Rena is the CEO asking the commissioner if you have a spot on the roster for Josh. <sighs> One name. Josh. This was so and, based, dude. Because, like, Vampire used to stand outside the LA Sports Arena like a bum. I don't says, call him this little though. jabroni Josh did the same thing. <laughs> He's doing the same thing. All right. He's just I'm like, gonna you. I'm going to give him a chance, though. I'm going to give him a chance. I don't think much of you back then, but I think a lot of him. Van, now. By the way, Vampire, one of the most over acts ever coming into WCW. They pushed the hell out of him going to get Sting and a bunch of other shit. Yeah, so, anyways, Josh is just like you, little jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> what? He was a bitch just like you are now. <laughs> he got pissed out by Triple H on Tough Enough. And, well, here he is. He was Al Snow's friend. <laughs> Viper says, I can make your dreams come true. I can do anything you want me to. If you got it for Josh, then I got it for you. Piper is like, his face is practically in her titties at this point. Yeah. And he says, I'll go and make the match. Josh is good enough for the XWF. Because guys like this is what we need. And people uh, like you, like guys like this. He's pointing at Vampiro. He doesn't know his name. Guys like this. <laughs> he doesn't want to say Vampiro because it makes him look like a nerd. Because <laughs> only the real boys call Vampiro. <laughs> 